so in this video i we will see how we can create amazon connect instance so to build an a contract center we the first step is to create amazon connect instance so let's get started first go to amazon management console and here search for amazon connect so select the amazon connect from drop down mention uh, options and it will leads to the interface of amazon connect so because i have already created an instance so if you have not then you will see another screen uh, but definitely you will find an uh, button to get start or add an instance so just click on add an instance button so uh, here are three options uh, when we are going to create amazon connect instance uh, well, first of all we have to uh, provide the identity management so there are three options like we can store our users within amazon connect uh, if we want to store our all users of amazon connect and our contact center then we can choose this option and this is the default option and it's good to start uh, and the other option is we can link our an existing directory to uh, our contact center like if i have already uh, amazon connect instance uh, amazon uh, amazon account and we have already directories and users then i can just link those users to amazon connect too and the third option is very helpful when we are not uh, we don't want to create any user and we want uh, just uh, our user will uh, just get the link and they will just uh, log into that without creating any user account so these are three options that we have to choose but the default option is good to go so i'm just going to choose the default option store user with an amazon connect so here i have to provide the name of the uh, contact center and you can provide your own company name like specific to uh, and uh, it will not be changed after creating the amazon connect instance so be careful to provide the name of your company here so i'm just going to provide the name uh, just for testing purpose the contact center and click next button uh, so this uh, the second option is administrator here you have to provide the administrator details or if you don't want to provide the administrator detail here yes you can do later uh, and you can skip this option too but uh, i'm going to provide my own credentials so uh, just provide the credentials for your administrator if your administrator is someone else then you can provide their credentials here okay so he will be able to log into your uh, amazon connect dashboard so just uh, feeling okay so uh, i have provided so the this will be my admin account when uh, the instance will be created so click next step and the third step is telephony option here uh, we have to choose if we are going to receive the calls or we are going uh, we want to make outbound calls so if we want both yes we can check both options uh, we can tick both uh, box uh, so that we can receive the call and we can make outbound calls so if you want one option just you can check uh, check mark one option and other leave the leave it uh, separate uh, so uh, we can choose this option so it is very helpful and uh, we can make outbound calls and incoming calls can be received so this is the great option for telephony option so just click on next step so the first step is data storage we are here uh, because i have created a default option of data store uh, in the first step identity management so that's why amazon has created uh, the uh, uh, default options for storing my data okay so the default options are all, uh, uh, already set by amazon uh, amazon connect so yes if you want to customize and you want to store your call regarding in someone else positions in your own s3 bucket yes you can choose and you can edit you click on edit and you can choose the uh, another option like choose uh, select an existing s3 bucket so when you just select this option you will provide the uh, path of your s3 bucket okay so this is also possible and you can also uh, customize your chart uh, script uh, data storage option uh, you can click on edit button and you can change it yes so these are some of uh, options that you can customize it to store your data of amazon connect so i'm leaving it uh, default and click next step 
so uh, in the final step we have to review that uh, whatever we have choose is this good or uh, if you want to change anything then you can just change uh, by clicking these options so i am good to go uh, because i don't want to change anything so just click on create instance so it will take uh, two to three minutes uh, so and it will be visible to us that uh, our amazon connect instance is created so just wait for two to three minutes so as you can see that uh, our instance is created and you will get you will receive this success message uh, when your instance is created so just get started so when you will click on get started button and you will redirect it to the home page of amazon connect so our instance is created and we can uh, we can add things up we can uh, we can claim our phone number we can set operation hours we can create queues prompts contact flow so uh, we are good to go so our instance is created and we can start building our contact center in amazon connect dashboard